It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Okay, we've got our uh, second place finisher in tonight's uh, race. Driver of the number 18 pedigree Toyota. That's Kyle Bush. I believe if I read it right up on the board, he's our new points leader in uh, uh, championship point standings. Kyle, you had a strong car all night running up towards the lead. Your thoughts about uh, the race out there this evening? Well, it was, a, it was a good night for us. We struggled a little bit on car handling, but not much. I mean, it's just a product of the way these things are. We ran in the top seven most of the night, I think. Um, top five most, most of the night. We started seventh, I believe. But, um, you know, good, strong car. Ran the bottom sometimes, ran the top, kind of moved around, tried to find something. Wasn't really anything out there. Just... You know, Steve Addington made awesome race calls tonight on trying to fix that thing for me to make it a little bit better, make it handle through the corners for me, and uh, try to get the drive up off. This tire that we brought here was just uh, different from last year, so it was a handful to try to get a hold of. And, you know, fortunately, we, um, you know, we come home second tonight. So, um, you know, it was a good points night for us, not anything that, uh, that we wanted, but, um, you know, we'll take it and go into next week. Thank you, Kyle. We'll take questions now for Kyle Bush. If you have one, raise your hand. With the wireless mics, we'll start back here. State your name and who you're with. Thanks. Tom Jensen, SpeedTV.com. Kyle, at the end of the race, the reason you guys were closed up is because your teammate parked his car and deliberately brought out a caution with, with a few laps to go. What would you think of that? Well, I mean, um, I don't know if what his situation was. I believe it was a flat right front tire, but... Um, you know, to if he couldn't have made the pits, you know, it's awfully hard to turn these things when a the right front's going down because the uh, the splitter that scrapes the racetrack. Then you know, you just basically go straight in the wall. So I don't know if he tried on that last corner and missed it and just had to stop because it wasn't going to make the next corner. You know, if he would have went down into turn one, he probably would have crashed. So uh, I'd rather give uh, Danny the benefit of the doubt than say that he did it deliberately. So um, just a bummer deal for him. He had the he had the car to beat tonight. He had. The field covered. He drove a flawless race, and um, you know he had spectacular pit stops all day. Everybody kept him out front. No mistakes on his part. No mistakes on the pitch uh, in the pits, and um, it's just such a bummer to see that happen to him. I mean, those guys deserved it. Other questions downstairs for Kyle. Raise your hand. We've got one back here. Then right here, over here, young man. Jay Pennell, HardcoreRaceFans.com. When something like that happens, and you, you have a, a guy who's out there leading all all day long. He goes down with a problem. How do you jump up on the, on the wheel and, and go after that win? Like, what goes through your mind? Well, I mean, uh, you pretty much see the guy that, uh, that everybody's got to beat gone. You know, so then it's a race between everybody else because everybody else seemed to be pretty equal. But, um, you know, you, you get up on top of the wheel and you try to dig in a little bit harder and try to get a little extra something out of the car. And, um, and today, you know, I just, man, on those restarts, it, was, it took my car a couple laps to come in. You know, it wasn't ready to go right off the get-go. Took it a couple laps, probably about five to ten laps were, were my best laps, and then and then uh, other guys would start beating me about ten after. So I only had about five good laps where I could get going in there. Question right here, and then we'll move back to Ron. Go ahead. Jim Otter, Charlotte Observer. Kyle, in the uh, situation with Dale Earnhardt Jr. at the end, for you, is it, is it basically a no-win situation? I mean, even if you everyone were to judge it as being a completely innocent uh, racing incident just because of, his winless streak and his legion of fans, do you kind of come out on the bad side regardless? Oh, yeah. I mean, um, I, I feel as like that. I mean, everybody probably is racing around the racetrack scared to death of wrecking Dale Earnhardt Jr., so, um, you know, why wouldn't I be any different? But, you know, that was just a product of good hard racing, and, um, you know, I apologize that it happened, and I hate it that it did, but, um, you know, fortunately, um, you know, he didn't, uh, he didn't get hurt and nothing like that happened, so he was able to uh, continue. He'll see another day of racing, but... You know, to, to say that I took away a win away from him, you know, it, it's hard to say. If And in, if I wanted to do it deliberately, I would have waited till the last lap where I probably could have still won the race, you know. So there's just a, there's a way that, that it happened, and I, and I hate it that it did. We just didn't give each other enough room getting into turn three. And, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel like I slipped, but, um, I mean, we just kind of banged simultaneously, and then that's when I got loose and I corrected and, and he was gone. I will take one. <clears throat> One here, go upstairs and back down. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ron. Uh, uh, oh. 
around the Masters National Speed Sport News. On, on the restart, the final restart, um, what, I guess obviously the plan was to, to catch Clint, but what were you thinking as that restart unfolded? Well, I was trying to think, don't spin your tires, don't spin your tires, because the previous couple starts I had spun my tires, and again, that time I had spun them just a little bit, but um, I got a good good enough restart, I thought, where I was going to be able to get back to him, but I just couldn't do it. You know, he he uh, slowed his car down enough in the corners where he held his line and, and got it to turn, where on the previous restart, you know, Junior was up there and he dove off into the corners and his car slipped up the track, and that's what brought me to him, so... Um, you know, Clint drove a, a great last three laps and um, pulled off the win. I will go upstairs and then back down here. Go ahead. Question upstairs. Monty Dutton, Justin, is it? <laughs> Kyle, I know that you don't like being the villain, and I know that you work hard to try to get people to know you. But as a racer, I mean, does it make any difference who you race? I mean, would you be less of a racer if you raced somebody different just because he's the most popular driver out there and he hadn't won in 71 races? Um, it, it wouldn't make me a race car driver, that's for sure. I mean, if I, uh, if I went out there on that final restart and just gave way to the 88 car, then that wouldn't be uh, a true race car driver. So, you know, I had to do what I had to do to win for my team, to win for Pedigree, to win for M&Ms, and uh, to win for Toyota. And so that's what I was out there and set forth to do is to try to get a win. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, circumstances happen. I will come back downstairs. I think Jenna has a question. Go ahead, please. Kai, you've said repeatedly, did not the way you wanted it to end disappointing. Was it more disappointing that your former crew guys came down and, and confronted you? It really is. But if you know Rick Pigeon, you know Rick Pigeon. So, um, you know, he was the one that went over to Dale Jr. to ask him to get in the car at Texas Motor Speedway. And, um, you know, there um, I've been since dismissed from Hendrick Motorsports and racing at Joe Gibbs. And, you know, last year we got uh, we got wrecked twice by the eight car and Chase. I feel like those were the situations that took us out of the running for the championship. That had nothing to do with tonight. Uh, it was just a circumstance where I got into the corner and Dale got into the corner. We didn't give each other enough room. We wrecked. But, um, you know, fact given that he came down and, and confronted me f saying that I del why did I do that, did I, you know, thinking I did it deliberately was, was beyond insane. So... For me, I just went out there, and I drive a race car. And, um, you know, when I make mistakes, uh, certain people have to pay for them. And, unfortunately, today, that, um, you know, those 88 bunch, they've got to pay for it. All right, we'll pop back upstairs for another question for Kyle Bush. Go ahead. Uh, Jerry Bunkowski, Iowa Sports. Kyle, with all due respect, you're going to probably be the most hated man in the junior nation starting tomorrow morning, uh, even though it was an innocent mistake. Uh, what can you say to juniors fans to, you know, maybe uh, – prove that you really aren't the villain in this whole thing well for some reason they're awfully confused because they were giving me the number one sign the last 10 laps of the race and i was in second place still so i don't know if those are too many old dale jr budweiser's or uh, or whether they're amped up or what but um you know for me it's just um you know there's nothing you can say absolutely nothing i mean if i apologized up and down even though uh, it may or may not be my fault, then it wouldn't make a difference. You know, Dale Jr. got wrecked. He should have had a win tonight, quote, unquote. But um, it's just, uh, I'll, I'll say it again, but uh, it's just unfortunate circumstances for, uh, for him because he didn't get a win and for me because now I've got to put up with it. Questions downstairs. Anything else for Kyle? Anybody else have a question before uh, we let him go? All right, we appreciate it, Kyle. Hey, no Thank problem. you very much. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.